Hey guys, Greg Everett here from Catalyst Athletics again. It's our super intense video intro. Uh, let's see what we got here today. There's Amy, my lovely wife, on one of her uh, on, keep your legs relatively tight. rare days of training. She's been retired for a while now from competition, so her training's picking up again a little bit. We always get these requests from people on YouTube and on Facebook like, post more videos of Amy. Guys, I can't post video of training that doesn't exist. I'm doing what I can, okay? So if you want to see more video of her, you're going to ask her to train more often. Here's Steve uh, squatting his face off. I think he does about 1,000 reps here, which is, uh, what do we got here, 170. Steve's had a, a shoulder injury for quite a long time now. He has a, a minor labral tear in, uh, I think it's his right shoulder. And it's one of these things where the doctors say they can do surgery, but it's not going to help. Um, so he's in this kind of weird shoulder purgatory where there's not a whole lot he can do about it and uh it doesn't limit his clean doesn't limit his jerk it's really just the snatch where it's a problem so you know he can snatch up to 110 115 and kind of get away with it but beyond that it's uh it's just too unstable and, and uh it just starts getting totally out of control and start hurting so he squats and cleans a lot and jerks uh, unfortunately it's kind of made him uh kind of forced him to retire from competition which is too bad he's he's not too old yet but he's only got one really functioning shoulder there's aaron or as we call him aa ron his biggest technique problem is that he's too tall I think he's about yeah, six foot 14 and uh so he's got a lot of trouble kind of shooting those hips up too soon coming off the floor something we've been Straight. working on Amy with her snatch deadlifts. This set was better after I yelled at her at the last one for keeping her knees loose at the top. So she's actually fully extending and locking that position in. Uh, it's not just her. It's a lot of people. They'll do deadlifts, and uh, they just don't keep their legs tight at the Punch top. I don't elbows. understand the rationale. And uh, China here, really good jerker naturally. She's also another really tall lifter, but she's got a fantastic I'll jerk. Like Anything it. overhead, she's really good at. Jerk, snatch, balances, overhead squats, that kind of thing. I think her best jerk is 101 or 102 as a, a very light 69 kilo lifter, usually weighing around 65 or 66 kilos. <clears throat> so Aaron there again, you kind of see him leading with those hips a little bit. Really, it's just a matter of, of tightening up and controlling that pull off the floor. So... You know, pushing with the legs rather than yanking it off the ground. The, the, the harder you yank a bar off the ground, the more likely it is your hips are going to shoot up and uh, leave the rest of you behind. Chen a little slow on those elbows today. She's got a great drive. A lot of power on it, but sometimes her elbows kind of lag and she uh, doesn't lock it out right away. I can't tell if that's 50 or 51 kilos for Audra there. <clears throat> Most of these guys this uh, week or this few weeks, whatever it was, are doing three position clean and three position snatches a couple days a week. Um, and this is not, I don't even think Alyssa has ever done these before. So I think this was probably the first week they were doing them. So they're all still trying to get used to them. Normally I would do a three position lift from the floor first and work my way up. But for these guys, I'm having them start high and work down uh, just because it's more of a technique thing rather than. Uh, a power and kind of rate of force development deal like it would be normally. So you kind of saw Alyssa there struggling a little bit with that overhead position. That's how she normally misses snatches. You can see that the weight is not heavy for her. It's, it's a matter of putting herself under that bar perfectly um, because she doesn't have the, the margin of error that most people do just due to her shoulder structure. So she's getting her shit together here. <clears throat> I think she makes this set just fine. Better. So she's getting under without leaning her chest through. A lot of times these guys, especially if they have um, any kind of shoulder or even lower body mobility issues, they kind of dive through the snatch turnover. So in other words, they'll lean their head and their chest forward and down to get under rather than actually squatting down in a nice upright posture like they would uh, with an overhead squat or a snatch balance or something like that. Adam, same thing. He's got his three position snatches. This is probably the week that I chewed all these guys out for taking too damn long on these sets. Uh, especially after the two hang ones. They would kind of dick around with the bar on the floor and wait too long to get set up. So this should be a set of three reps, not a set of two reps with a 30-second pause and then a third rep. So these guys are screwing around with the weights. 
So uh, we're, we're working on that. There's only so many things I can yell at these guys about in a day before they just hate me and go in the corner and cry. So you can see Adam's mobility is coming along pretty well. He's he's able to sit into that bottom position a lot better than he could formerly. And obviously that's helping the, his snatch a lot. I think his best is 126. And uh, it was fairly ugly. He really had to fight for it overhead. So as his mobility improved, he's got a, a, a ton of power on him. He's got the strength. He actually just snatched balanced 140 last night, which was, I think, about a 35 or 40 kilo PR. Um, and that's been maybe five or six weeks since the last time we, we tested that. I don't, I'm not sure actually how long it's been. And Alyssa finishing up with some halting snatch deadlifts on a riser. Really good to, to strengthen that pull from the floor. Kind of strengthen the legs to be able to break that bar from the floor and get it moving with the upright posture rather than getting that hip leading like we saw with A.A. Ron. We halt there. As that's both practicing and strengthening that position, that ability to stay over the bar longer. And of course, I run out of time as always. Maybe we'll make these things longer in the future. If you guys like this stuff, please subscribe. Please share it. Um, help us get this stuff out there. We appreciate the support. Thank you.